we think about it as how many people do I have to share this girl with? You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is going to be my wife, how many people am I really sh have I shared this girl with too? So if she has 100 body counts, a man might not be like, yo, I don't want to have this girl who had 100 other men. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Everybody has different thresholds. Another thing is going to be like, if she has a high body count, why, why is she either weak-minded in the decision-making skills or is she just foolish? And that p plays a long part with the person that you're dealing with. That's the same thing if I was a guy and I was selling drugs and I kept going back to jail. And you're like, well, why are you keep on making the same mistakes? Or, or are you just foolish? So like, we look at that the same way for women who are just opening their legs for whomever that it is. Is it a double standard where a girl could just have sex and not care about a guy? Yeah, you know why it's a double standard? Because for majority, it's unrealistic. Majority of women are not just gonna have sex with a guy and forget about him tomorrow. It's not fair to call a girl foolish for right. believing what a man right. tells her and having sex. Yeah, and, no, having and sex we're human, just like you. It's, so it's an over and over process. If you have no, sex one, one time, two times, three but times, the, but we're not had, dealing with the same person. So how do I know that the this person is gonna be on the same shit because that this the, person was the on? The game but, don't but change. Who am I supposed oh, to believe? Okay, but, or but am I not is, supposed to believe anyone? But this is the man's side, though. If you if if you have to think about that and you keep getting fooled, I as as a man, I don't want to deal with that because when you walk out, out this door away from me, I don't know where your mind is going. You you could get fooled with any fucking thing. If you keep getting fooled out there, they can take everything. I agree. Mm -hmm. I Straight totally out. agree with I mean, that. Thanks. Yeah, I have some guy friends that know about my wholeness because like it's the boys and like I can open up to them and they open up to me and I know about like the games that they play. But I think for me, like, I be p playing the game back. Like, you think I like you, but I really don't. I'm just trying to get my, and keep it moving. And that is different than, yes, I agree. You shouldn't believe everything a man says to you. You should get, you know, in touch with the game. But not every woman is like that. Some women just want to be open and sexual, and that's okay. It's their body. If you don't want to be with them, then don't. They'll be with someone. But then don't right. lie some about people, it. Some people actually, some women actually enjoy their sexuality like they enjoy you know like having a good time just like men do i'm not saying that that's okay i'm not saying that that's my story what i'm saying is some women actually like to go out have a good time and think you know what i'm in the moment i'm feeling this this you know the situation or this person or whatever and they just might want to have sex why is it such a big deal like it's you not, know you know how you feel when you do it so why is it such a big but it's big not data it's the continual what, what we're talking continue, about like doing it's a it continual constantly. process as if I, either you don't know that they're gaming you, or if it's okay. But what if, if it, you don't care if about it, the if game? If it's truly okay, then why are we hiding it? That's a, that's I all that I'm that. saying. Yeah. If if it's if, if, if it's, no no if it's just truly if if we're gonna delve into it, if it's truly okay, you don't have to not tell your friends. But men are hiding it. It don't know. This is not what we're talking about. Okay. We talking about body count and why women don't say. But so. you have people that are in the industry mm -hmm. that literally hop from rapper to rapper to rapper and they love it. It's like, oh, she gotta be that bitch because her, like, she gotta be because... Yeah, but, yeah, but, and then they continue to do certain things for her. I'm not saying that for everyone, but I'm just trying to get it's a fun, perspective. It's a period of time. That's yeah. that's fun. That's like you just tricking on a hoe. I got a pretty hoe with me but instead of paying like for But they act like they're literally wifing them and yeah, buying them like this. They on Lamborghini ecstasy, tricks. they doing drugs, we on liquor, it's euphoria, we at the beach, we doing, we having great fucking time. Time we fucking menaging. Yeah, I'm gonna act like I like you. If if you would have paid attention but to when I was on last time, to some of these people, I'm we, not gonna name drop. But of course, obviously, people are like, getting married. I seen a couple of these hoes getting married. I seen them. I know their names too. Mm -hmm. They don't last. Okay. It's only two or three of them. Yeah. It's, and it's, it's, it's 3,000 hoes out there, and three is getting married. So you're talking about 0.001%. But do you think it's okay for them? Are you, They're not you wife them. But do you think it's okay for them to lie about it? Because it's a lot of hoes that are getting married that nobody, they just don't know that There's they're marrying a, a hoe. No, no, no. They listen. just don't know it. If they're not being honest with you about their we body are, count, but then they're but, not being but, honest. But that's our point. Y'all talking and about and a and lot of hoes and Whether whores. you know or not know. So it's what important to hide it. Yeah, what is y'all 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 keep saying hoes and whores? You got a hot body. We're exactly. talking about body count. A body exactly. count is so. A, is are you guys body. considering these hoes and whores the girls with the high body counts? Because I can tell you right there, that's why they don't say shit. Right. Because exactly. why? Why? I agree. Okay. So I tell you what I'm saying. I, I totally agree with you. And you yeah. don't know that they're whores. No, yeah, because mm -hmm. if I'm gonna be considered a hoe, if I'm truthful about what my real body count is, I'm not really gonna get nowhere. I could get wiped up and. Here you are talking about it ain't real. 
They gonna get. The they gonna break, old man. break up in two years. That's a hoe. He not gonna. He ain't really wife her. They get married all the time. When I if I if I'm marrying you, right? When I talk to you, if I know I've been a whore, which I was, and I told my wife, I told her every fucking day. Okay, there was no holding nothing back. The very first week she met me, so I'm, you didn't take to the about, grade. Yo, a mm -hmm. nigga, no, I, I told my wife because I'm committing to her. I'm not telling my boys and all the rest of that type of shit. Now, if niggas is there, cool. That's a whole nother topic. I told my wife, right? A very next week, a dude came in and said, "Yo, don't fuck with him. He turns bitches out. He does this. He spend money. He does all this wild shit." And she said, "He told me it was nothing a man could say from that point." So if you want to be real with your nigga, you would want to tell him, yo, my body count, I made mistakes, nigga. I went through a whole phase in 12th grade. I did this and I did that because if you run into a motherfucker to leave, the last thing you want a man to do is be in love with you and, and Rico out. says she's a fucking whore. It's over. It'll, bre it'll break it's your over. whole shit down. <laughs> and all you had to do was tell him or, or put your dick on that same line that you want him to put it on and say like, yo, this is what I did. Take me or don't take me. We will respect that, but you will lose a couple of niggas behind let me, you. That's let me, let me give is. you a situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Say I told my partner I have 10 bodies. Mm -hmm. Could be the truth, could be a lie. Whatever. No, you only have two bodies. <laughs> <laughs> some, guy, some guy comes, mm -hmm. tells them otherwise. Mm -hmm. Yo, this happened last month, blah, blah, blah. Maybe not last month. Let's say last year. I'm not I got a you. I'm not a hoe. Okay. Last year, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't find no reason that my partner could come back to me and be like, so you didn't tell me about this? Because I told you I had 10 bodies. Now, did I give you a story for every single one? Yeah, no. no, I'm not, I'm not no, looking that's not for that. Saying. But I actually, mean, that I mean, kind I'm not looking for that. Yeah, it matters. It matters, because if you got, got train ran with three niggas, exactly. I, I, I oh, definitely, that's you're, that's you're, you're, you're done up. Exactly. But, that, but, that, but that occurs exactly. within girls' first three times. Shit but, happens. No. But, but, but this is the problem, and this is what mm -hmm. we're trying to say, right? Like, you know why or how it couldn't have been a problem? Is if you told him before y'all started dating. Be straightforward. Listen, I have 10 bodies. Two of them was in the same time. Yeah, but it's, and then what? And then and you give him. About, but you worried about no. You first of all, first of all, I would never ever let two guys hit at the same time. I think that that is not okay. But if you are a woman it's that a no judgment zone by the I'm way. I'm sorry, for me yeah. the way I the way I roll. But if I do have friends that you know are into that and they're with people who like to hook up with other people at the same time. So they found their match. They found mm -hmm. someone who matched them on that sexual level. Yep. You know how they did that? They had to be honest but about they, it. Speak about but, it. So <laughs> let me just say, since you guys, since you guys, you know, wanted to come for me earlier, I told my boyfriend I had a whole phase at the age of 18 and 19. He told me he also had his whole phase when he did it. We don't need to get into detail about it, but I must say, mm. I come from, you know, a, a, a smaller town. He's from Queens. Okay. So I think it's different where if you guys grew up in the same town or in the same place and you guys still hang out with your friends from high school and mm. she's lying on her body count and you guys are at a party and she had sex with like three, four, five different guys in the room and she never said anything, then I think that's disrespectful because I will never bring my man now in a room with guys that I know would be there that I hooked up with because I don't even want to put myself in that situation. So can I, 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 I go just, ahead. I just wanted to say something before I lost it. And I, this is no judgment to you, by the way. Okay. I swear. I even be but back in the day, we had a rule. We never trust out of town girls <laughs> because out of town girls, <laughs> will go. be doing crazy shit in their town, mm -hmm. and then they try to come into oh our town wholesome. <laughs> ah, I agree. And we used to be like, and we, we all, as a young man, we all bit the bait and say, yo, I got her. She's yeah. from such and such. <laughs> Until you meet such and such from such and such. And they'd be like, she and was going to town. Exactly. So it's like, but like, as, but... <laughs> I see it. I see what happened. She said, Where's the small town that you're yeah. from, by the uh, way? No, but I don't think that would be the case with me. But I'm just saying, like, you have to. Out of town, I definitely understand because that's how we would feel when we were at high school parties and a guy would bring, you know, an out of town girl. We would be like, That girl's definitely a hoe. And then 
we would find out that she is. But you're grown, <laughs> like you're you're grown. Like the time has like you know the same way that I hooked up with someone when I was 18, 19 years old is not even the same way that like I probably wouldn't even hook up with you at this point in my life. So it's like, why are you gonna be worried about? But it's not about that. What it is is like it's more so like for a man, we just want to know what we have. Like, just respect that. And my thing is, I don't like, is like when I try to tell, like all us men try to tell women what we're looking for and y'all try to debate with us on what we looking for. <laughs> all we want is for you to be honest. If you had a whole face at 18 or 19 and we're 25, fuck that 18, 19 year old shit. Exactly. We're good. But leave it exactly. up to me yeah. to but make yeah. the decision. Don't con me or, yeah. or lie or front about this whole body count knowing you already coming into the relationship lying. Yeah, but I think- If you're gonna lie about I it, agree. let's not talk about yeah. it. If we, if, if, yeah. if you were the man and you're talking about, let's nah, not we go gotta there. Talk, we gotta talk about it, bro, because- <laughs> what, But I'm what are you gonna talk up. about it I'm for? Let me ask you a question. <laughs> I'm what are you gonna bring it up for if all three of them just said they're gonna lie? Nah, What's I the didn't say that. Oh, okay, I'm I don't give a fuck. I'm talking about my ladies because I know this is my bad. This is I should like, put you I don't in there. give a fuck. You know what girls do, it. but yeah. I, I ain't lying. I ain't do you think girls lie, lie about their body count though, or some real shit? Yeah, yes, absolutely. And Kaden, so, just, so my, yeah, so my yeah, like, question to Rico is now they gonna be hoes and whores. Yeah, exactly. So my, so why you asking Rico? The way I would ask because I don't ask for body count. I ask a very specific question. What's that? Two parts. Did you have a whole phase and did it consist of any threesomes with two males? No and no is what she's gonna no say. And no. Then, and then it we're could cool. Be true. And she's lying. And it's true. Well, if she, well, she's lying. If she's lying. If she's lying. I'm giving an example. I'm giving an example. I'm giving an example. This is how he's made to be the bully on set. Because why does it always have to be some negative connotation? Yeah, like she's lying. Like with a female, I'm why giving, does she have to be lying? I'm giving about him the al- a tool? Because you know that is that is I'm, very I'm, rare. I'm just giving him the alternative because he thinks that they're telling the truth. Nah. I'm saying, why are you asking? No, no, no. They have the ability wait, wait, to lie, boss thing, lady. I'm yeah. getting to lie. How they get married? So, okay, so, cool so, 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 to answer your question. It's not about me asking, right, mm-hmm. to get the truth. Okay. It's me giving you an opportunity to it's tell me the truth. But how do you know what the truth is? You're just going to no, gauge no, 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 it. No, what I'm saying is that I'm a, I'll log it in my mental book, mm-hmm. and then five years watching. five years down the line, be like, hey, bro, you know we ran training the girl back in the day. In my mind, this bitch lied to me. I gave her an opportunity to tell me about it, and she didn't tell me about it. This, if I never find out about it, then it's cool. But, but did you I, just have the best five years of your life with her, or yeah, no? Yeah. I don't care. Fuck. What? How many years I had with her? Like, it's, it's over. When do you ask her this question? <laughs> what part when, of the dating stage do you ask her? Hey, did two guys like? When I decide that I time? really like her, Wait, is when I start asking can questions. I, but then that's a selfish decision because what if then you ask her and she's like. I did because she likes you too and she wants to be honest with you and then Wait, time out. First of all, I'm not naive. I'm I'm the point guard in the game. Right? So <laughs> I'm saying that to say I, I got you I'm gonna land this plan real quick. Go ahead, let's plan. Because I got mm-hmm. your ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm not naive in this game. I've been i you know what I'm saying, I know what I'm doing. So when I decide that I like you, it's because I know you already decided that you really like me. You know what I'm saying? So once I know that, then I'm like, all right, cool. Then I, I give you a chance to start really and opening it up. And she says yes, she did. All right, so then that is up to me. If I really like her, then I'm like, all right, cool, we're going to move forward. If I don't like her that much... No, you're not. So when you beat this perfect girl that's not going to lie to you, why are you going to tell why, her... Wait, wait, why are we talking about perfect? Are you going to... When you meet this girl that doesn't tell you any lies and is going to tell you how much her body count is, are you going to tell her that you've been loving, eating pussy and fucking raw bitches? Yes, past, it's on. It's, it's already on. Oh. First of all, let me tell you something. You, let me tell you uh, something. First and foremost, you've been fucking and fucking and fucking. Yeah, I've been raw, fucking, fucking raw, eating, eating. Uh, body beautiful, the liquor asshole. Yep, yep. Look, you gonna I'm tell a, her all that shit, and uh, is she gonna wait. if she judges you? What if you really want this girl? If she judges you Yo. and says I don't want to fuck with you, how you gonna feel? Uh, she, exactly. I don't care. Okay, like, then cool. Like, like, right. She'll be cool with everything. Probably. Yeah, I'm about to say like, go. let me go. Let me go for a second. Let me ask you a question, right? She'll be cool. I'm a hundred percent honest with every female that I ever really, really fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I fuck you on someone that's saying it, I don't really owe you no honesty. But, like, I'm talking about, like, if I'm fucking with you and we're trying to, we're trying to build somewhere, and she asked me, first of all, girls already know not to ask me what's my body count. The first thing I'm going to tell is I don't know. And I don't think you want to have that conversation. We are very careful with who knows 
who we have sex with. Some women are not, but most women are. I absolutely disagree, and <laughs> I don't think that at all. I think that there are some women that we just don't care to tell the world about, and I think there's some women that when we take an L, when a guy takes an L, no one knows. Like, Amongst my friends, I'm like, bitch. Let me tell you. About so you're not dick. taking shit no. to the grave. <laughs> I won't even tell my friends if I don't want to. Oh. If I, t- I gotta tell my friends, like I gotta tell my best friends everything. Like, bitch, why did I do this? Let me tell you, I go tell nobody else but you. But bitch, oh my god, it wasn't so, worth it, or it was worth it. So Period. being that you said that, that means Barbara don't know what she's talking about. I be telling. Said, I gotta. Why are you coming for me? Because she said absolutely. All the time. She said absolutely women, and another woman right on this panel just said she runs to her friends and runs I her mouth as friends. soon as she catches the body. Okay, well, that's Jada. Yeah, we that's Jada. Jada. We Sorry, already Jada. established this is honest. how Jada is. She Jada's can be honest. That's honest. her truth. Yeah, that's her truth. Her truth doesn't have to be all in. other women's truth. Right. The question is, who does it we better? We already know that y'all not telling the truth But we already know women do it better. I'm just saying, I've been in a situation where I was hooking up with a guy, and we agreed we weren't going to tell anyone because it was a sticky situation. You know, he... I used to mess with his friend, and I didn't. Got a lot going on, Barb. Yeah. Wait. So, so you you were the same person that's yeah, talking about this whole I'm not friend mess thing. With nobody. Yo, are you serious? <laughs> so my truth is, okay, they were friends, as in they just hung out. <laughs> Don't do that to her. Don't do that to her. You need to hear it. Whatever. Go ahead. So I didn't want. You know, <laughs> everyone on the basketball team to know about it. So me and him were just keeping it on the low. And then I started dating someone else and he got jealous. And then he went and told everybody. And I'm like, I thought we were taking it to the grave. And it's happened to multiple women that I know. And yes, we absolutely. Absolutely. What a remix. Keep the secret <laughs> well, better. Let me tell you like this. What First a of all, remix. when you're dealing with ball players and you go out of bounds, <laughs> you went out of bounds, so he had the right to say whatever he wanted to say. All right. But I'll tell you like this, right? I personally think, or actually, I got a question. Okay. Since women absolutely do it better. Oh, absolutely. Right? Don't look at me. I'm not looking at you. I'm, okay. looking, at, I'm looking at these two right here. <laughs> oh, God. How many bodies to the grave have y'all took currently? Okay. Uh, to, to the grave, you're not going to tell. No, no, I'm not saying no, who no. they are, but... We could give a number, four. though. That's not really four bodies telling. that nobody knows about. Four. Okay. Amanda? I'm going to say two. Amanda, always talking about some two or one <laughs> shit. She always popping this two or one shit at once. <laughs> so two. I'm because I'll one, be more like, interested if I say five. It would be more <laughs> realistic. Yeah. No, but it's it that's not. But that's not the truth. Are we telling the truth? Listen, I thought we was, but it, it do be some capping going on up here. That's all I'm saying. Nah, so there's no, no capping in the, rap. In the in the fast forward, I think men keep their secrets better no. because they are mad. There are things that I know that <laughs> my man here is not telling me that he's doing. I know I chill with Rico. He's not telling me everything that he's fucking doing, and I'm not telling him everything that I'm doing. So, Esso, what's your number? How many uh, How many bodies have you taken? <laughs> uh-huh. We're not doing that. Oh, no, we are doing that. Yo, yo, listen. Here we are doing that. No, we're not. Y'all I, make I'm rules. Gonna count. I'm not going to cap. Exactly. Oh, you lost count? Because I don't, I don't talk now, to nobody like about Now that sounds like cap. Rico, what's your number? Listen, Amanda, right? You know how... She uh, had a lamp? Nah. Uh, <laughs> Amanda, so I would say like we this. We talking about bodies that we don't, that we not telling nobody yeah. about, Why right? Why are you not telling? Right. But that's what I wanted to ask. Yeah, but I wanted to actually ask them, no. why didn't they, what made them want to take those bodies to the grave? Oh, the four? Yeah, or the two, or whatever. Are we giving reasons? Oh, oh okay. I just want to know why, like, why would you take the body to the grave? If they For were... women. For a woman. No, because you see, if I give my reason, I can potentially be outing myself. Yeah. So I'm going to withdraw what? from answering Wait, that question. Why would you take I plead the, the fifth. <laughs> I plead the fifth. I'm not going to why you would take the body to, to the grave. No. We're pulling back layers here, right? Look, my thing is, okay, people, people are taking bodies to the grave, and we want to know why would you do that. So based on your experience, why would people do that? <clears throat> I think because... Either it makes you look bad to a group of friends, maybe, mm-hmm. or so you're fucking a crew. No, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Eight, <laughs> two. Um, maybe they're not the cutest person, but there was some type of sexual looks. Okay, go ahead. Attraction, or the other reason. I'm just thinking about my four, and then the other reason. Yeah, just a one night stand. That only happened Horny. to me one time. 
Oh, you and Amanda's boat, one, two, one, two. No, that, one, two. The, a one night stand only <laughs> happened me. one time, and the stand has lasted because that's my man now. Ooh. Oh, okay. But that wasn't the grave. And that's not a one that's night not stand. A grave. That's not no, a one I'm night saying, stand. No, I'm saying he said a one night stand, and I'm saying no, but the one night stand I've had lasted. So I'm saying, but the two main reasons maybe it looks bad in the group of friends and I mean, the you other never reasons. cheated on nobody wouldn't cheating be yeah over? i was you I know mean, i'm just going to throw out reason. some reasons cheating, you yeah. probably had a nigga fuck somebody else you going to take that to the grave you probably was dealing but, with someone you wasn't supposed to they got a girlfriend or something like yeah, that yeah something like that take it to the grave this, another person you probably saying, know messing, just, messing uh, with multiple different people and you don't really want people to know that you was one of them, so you taking that to the grave. Yeah. If you have a partner, okay, and you cheat on your partner, or you do other things, everybody that you have done, you're taking it to the fucking grave. Don't cheat. That's don't why, cheat. okay, well, that's not reality. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about over the course of life. Not what you're doing right now. Okay, because we know that we, we talk on this thing and we'll say, oh, no, nah, we would never deal with somebody else, but then find out we would deal with somebody else. So we're talking about not what's going on right now, but what has happened through your course of, of life. So if you've been with a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever you may have, over the course of life, you have cheated once or twice or whatever. All those that you cheated with, those are bodies. Thank you. You, you ain't telling. If you fucked your, your homeboy's homeboy, that's a body, too. You know what I'm saying? So people catching that bodies out here, and that's why I told I told them this here. It's not capping. It's countless. I've been in relationships for years. So everybody that I took was always what I wasn't supposed to do. So I had to keep it to myself, and I always did. And that's period. So if you have a man, which you have one, right? Yeah. All those are, we we can't just sit down and figure out which bodies we're going to count. Because I know women do that. I'm not going to count that as a body. I'm going to selectively <laughs> count that. I, I actually totally <laughs> forgot all about him. So True. I'm not going to count him as a body. Oh, his dick was trash. That's not a body. Yeah. Oh, the trip was corny. He's not a body. <laughs> That's how the numbers get skewed. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's how the numbers get skewed. That's what I'm saying. Okay? That's what keep it but all those are bodies, though, just in case that you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not with me. I don't give a fuck. You gonna be with me or not? I got a pass. You got a pass. I don't listen. I don't give a fuck. You ain't gonna. I ain't got only five bodies. I got a couple. Body count because we can but get I into know, that. No, but I, I know one. Myself. One connection I do want to make a difference between guys and girls. Girls aren't really gonna tell you they real body count. Why? Because they keeping it on the hush. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why we Niggas, keep it better. It's so like it's bragging exactly. about. Yeah, First of all, we don't bodies. tell you our real got, body count either. Guys, we're talking about hookups, not revealing who we slept with, and for girls, I feel like we lessen our body count. We never really give the true number of body counts because it increases our value. And I just want to get to the bottom of, like, why Why does this happen? Like, Okay, yeah. Like, for me, I think I have PTSD because in high school, it was looked down upon if you had, sex, like, you know, multiple partners. And I did date all throughout high school, but then my senior year when I was single, my senior year when I was single, I had fun. And people would call me a hoe. They were say, put it out on Facebook. And I just felt like I was being bullied for choosing to have sex with people when I wanted to have sex with them at that time. And I think that that is why women hide their body count because, or they take bodies to the grave, as you said, mm -hmm. because we're shamed about, we're shamed on it when guys say, oh, like I've had guys lie on their dick about me so many times to the extent really? where a guy, um, one of the guys that I was working with in a restaurant, and I hope you see this. Mm -hmm. One of the guys that I was working with in a restaurant, I was starting to date another guy that was there. And he told people like, oh, you know, me and Barbara are having relationships or whatever. And he went to the extreme to get a porn tape of a girl who has my complexion wow. and said, this was me and Barbara last Wednesday. If I were you, I wouldn't date her. Now, that's just one of the many of the many guys that lied on their dick about me. Oh, what a delusion. Yes, mm. a major delusion. And I was like, if you don't tell the truth right now, then I'm gonna tell your dad, who is the head chef. <laughs> I'm gonna tell, <laughs> <you>. <laughs> I'm gonna tell your father. 
<laughs> Uma was a head chef. Like, you need to get your son before I fuck everything up in there. I don't give a fuck about that job or anything, but you're not about to lie on my beautiful flower because you think that fucking me is going to give you points. And for all the guys that lied on their dick about me, I understand why, because <laughs> seriously, like it just sucked. So that's why I feel like I would keep a lot of my bodies a secret. Yeah. And that makes sense. Cause I feel like women do get shamed a lot for having a high body count. Now, so I do want to ask you, you did say that uh, when women have a high body count, it does decrease their value. So talk because on that. Us men look at it as it's a decision-making type of thing. You know what I'm saying? It's your thought process. So if you keep getting caught out here, like she said, she, you know, she, <laughs> she conversed with a few corn balls, you know what I'm saying? And it, and it kept, it kept coming back to bite her in her ass, right? So we got to go to the people that you might be choosing when you're looking and when you're going down that road that you would have, that you, you really would need to worry about your body count or worry about if they're telling. Me, my thought process is sex is, I've said this before, men have sex with women and have sex with them and don't even really like them. They're just attracted to them. And after we have sex with them, we want to get up and we want to go. You know what I'm saying? So that's why the body count for us is we look at it differently because we're looking to build the body count. We're, we're able to tell you like, yo, Reek, this is what I might have did. This is what I might have done. Yo, I'm out here in these streets. I might not tell them blah, blah, blah. But women must keep it a secret. And when you have that type of thing that's really going on, because us men really do look at that. Like, you lay down with how many dudes and how many times? Because we look at that like you must have really thought you liked these motherfuckers. So it's a double no. standard. No, because no. you're going, it's your thought no, process. You're standard. going into it giving us the idea that you really like these people or you thought that they were good people. That's why you're giving them your beautiful flower. Correct? What about you? Well, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to build with them when I'm a man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not. Like, if I meet a hundred women, no, no cap, I really might really like two or three of them, maximum. Like, I really, you really don't like them. And I always would tell my, my wife this. I said, yo, and she, and she laughed at me. I said, you know men really don't like women, right? They need y'all. Like, niggas ain't gay. They want your pussy. They want, they, that they want this. Most men, men don't really like y'all. When they meet y'all, y'all are trophies. Y'all are pieces to them. And a lot of times, though, men will put their best foot forward and make it seem like they do like you. Yeah. And exactly. that they want more from you than just the pussy. So sometimes you might be giving it up thinking, like, this might go somewhere. But motherfucker, be real about your shit. If you don't fuck with me, if you, you don't like me, if you sort of fuck with me, it's not your fault. It's not And then sometimes right? with voice. us women, it's the same way. Like, look, I just want to bust a nut. Like, Jada, that could be. Know, you know when you fucking with these niggas, when you said your five body count and a couple more of them, you knew them niggas wasn't going nowhere. You wasn't planning on trying to be with them niggas. I wasn't planning on trying to be, be you, with a couple You want a couple to believe the game so it makes it cool for you to give up but the pussy. But y'all playing the game. And then yeah. you can turn around. Yeah, you again. know you're playing the so game. So nobody ever knows. Wait, wait, so that's wait, wait, why wait, wait, it doesn't fucking on, matter. Say it's, it's one voice. If I'm dribbling it's the basketball, if I'm dribbling the basketball and I pass it to you, you playing the game too, nigga. You ain't just gonna put the ball down and walk off the court. You in the game too. Me and you in the same game. While I'm spitting you game, you know I'm spitting game. First of you all, I'm a jigger. Car. I'm a girl nigga. You, you see my car outside, <laughs> so you a jigger, right? Okay, I'm cool. A you see my car outside, you know how I'm coming when you meet me. All right? This game is, right. this, this, this game is a formality. Too. Exactly. Sometimes we but just want to be, we just want the you. money spent. We just want the food. We just want the yachts. We want the trips. We want all that shit. I'm not complaining about the game. But you can do all that and want all that, but you can't brag about it. Yeah, I at, mean, you're, yeah. You looked at, if, if, if you took five trips with five different niggas to five exotic places, you're looking like a ski. But then there's Nobody don't want you. But at the same time, that's what you're saying. But at the same time, you have women that are being the most taken care of by niggas that know that they're seasons. It don't last, Jada. We're talking about when I'm we not saying with... that that's what I believe in. I'm just saying it, 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 there's just no way to win in that kind of situation. We're not talking Wait, but, but we... Go ahead, Rico. I'm sorry. All right, so I, I'm listening to everybody right now, right? And you know I agree with SO already. But just to Excuse piggyback me. off of it, this is what I don't like. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't like when anybody doesn't have accountability for their actions. So when I'm saying that, I'm saying that in regards of you know a man is throwing game at you. Even if you don't know a man is throwing game at you, you open your legs up and you lay with that man, you wear that.